You know, I've been thinking a lot lately about a few different things, but mostly I've been doing a word search on the word heart. And in the Bible, the heart and the mind are synonymous. For instance, David said in his heart, Surely now Saul will kill me, and it is better for me to flee to the land of the Philistines. Well, he did that, and I'm sure that it didn't work out as well for him as... Um, some other things that he could have done. Uh, but at that point in time, it was fear. And fear drove him. And so he got what he needed to get. A place where he could feel safe. At least to a certain, to a little bit more of an extent than where he was at that point in time. On, in kind of a contrast, the woman with the issue of blood, she said within herself, or in her heart, or in her mind, she said, if I can but touch his garment, I will be made whole. And she fought to get there. I mean, there's this crowd around Jesus. And she's seeing him get almost beyond her grasp. And she reaches out and touches just barely his garment. And she's made whole. And Jesus told her, Go in peace, your faith has made you whole. The Bible says, According to your faith, be it done unto you. And I wanted to encourage you today that whatever's going on in your heart, You see the right way to go, and you follow what it is that will take you there, even if it's just barely. You know, people mostly say <laughs> almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. But if you can cross the finish line of whatever, even if you just barely get your nose across the finish line, you still finish the race. And you've still accomplished what you set out to do. So whatever's in your heart, I want to encourage you to go for it. Decide that it's not out of your reach. That it is within your grasp. And that you can make it. Anyway, that's my two cents for the day. Thanks for watching. God bless. And see you next time.